How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the WL Toys Q333-A with the 5.8 GHz FPV and the controlled deformation mode RC quadcopter. Let's look at the other side of the box and there you go. That is the deformation modes, upper mode, center mode, and under mode. As you can see in the photo, that would be the upper mode. So we're going to check that out in the field. And this quadcopter comes in three different uh, versions. It is the 5.8 gigahertz FPV version that we have here with the A. The next one down the line, you will have the Wi-Fi FPV version, which is the B. And the C version, which has the 720p HD camera. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we got. All right, I've taken everything out of the box and assembled it somewhat. The quadcopter itself did not come with the props already installed. You have to install them yourself. Now let's take a look at the quadcopter itself. Looks pretty cool, huh? It is a DJI inspired looking quadcopter. And right up in the front, it has the uh, 5.8 gigahertz camera and right on the bottom there is the antenna right on the side here there is a micro SD card slot and you do get a 4 gigabyte micro SD card with the package now taking a look at the motors uh, they look very similar to the SEMA X8 motors and the gears and the spindle look almost identical now the props as well and these are screw on caps uh, as opposed to putting in and putting a cotter pin in there now these tighten up uh, counterclockwise these tighten in clockwise on this side here so they conform to the spinning rotation of the props let's take a look at the battery here the battery is a proprietary type battery it is a 2000 milliamp and it is a 7.4 volt 20c battery and all you do is slide it in and it powers up the quadcopter like so now this does not have an on and off switch so you leave the battery out and when you're ready to fly you just shove it in there all right all right let's put the quadcopter down now let's take a look and see what else we got we got the micro sd card reader and we have a charge cord for the FPV screen here. And right up underneath, there is a charge cord port right there. And plug in to the USB charge device that you like. There's an on and off switch right here. And it comes with this antenna. You put it on. And this is a 4.3 inch monitor LCD. And the way you click it on here is via these couple of screws. This little piece attaches to the back and the monitor attaches to the front and you tighten those two together and secure it in place on the antenna itself. And it is very secure. Now, the remote control is coated with this nice soft velvety coating, that non-scratchable coating. And let's take a look at the functions here. Uh, this button right here is the camera button and this button right here is the deformation button this thing has three different stages of the deformation up center and low so we'll check that out out in the field now there are some trim buttons here one two three four and these buttons here are speed changing buttons this one's at 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent and 100 percent this button right here is to turn the light on and off and this button here is the headless mode button all right so let's put this down but first take a look there's six double a size batteries that this remote control will take now we already talked about this cord now this is the charging cord and it comes with the eu plug uh, I always have uh, extra EU plug to US plug converter. So plug it into that. And the proprietary battery charge, all you do is 
slide it in in one way. You can't possibly make a mistake. So it only goes in one way. So that's really nice and plug it in and the light comes on right here in red and when it is complete, it'll turn green. All right, so let's put that down and four extra props like I said. So that is about it. So let's go outside and uh, test this baby out. Oh, and it also comes with the instruction manual as well. All right. All right, the first time I'm taking off, uh, let's see, it has a light control button here. All right, turn the lights off, save some battery. First of all, let's try some deformation. Pressing the deformation button. Nice, look at that. All right, once again. Nice. One more time. Cool. And let's fly just like this, just in case it starts to drop. I don't want to be flying like this and it drops. It will hit the bottom of the quadcopter and not the landing legs. So let's go back. Oh, this is fun. Okay, this is good right here. All right. That is the yaw. And this is speed number one at 40%. Speed number two at 60%. Flies really good, man. 80%. Faster yaw. Wow. And the speed is, wow. It has a lot of speed, guys. Look at that. Wow, lots of power, man. Woo -hoo. Let's go 100%. Whoa, 100%, really nice, nice pitch, wow, nice, really nice, really nice. I'm not sure if I'm taking photos or videos, but, and I don't have any signal on the FPV, okay, so I'm going to periodically press the camera button to make sure I'm recording something okay go this side okay do a little pan do another pan all right let's bring it down Oh my God, this is a nice flyer, man. Lots of power, but I am pushing the throttle up pretty high. Okay, let's uh, see uh, the headless mode here. Okay, I'm gonna go to speed number one. Okay, the headless mode does work, but it is in the wrong bearing. I'm gonna bring it back towards me. Huh, the headless mode doesn't quite work, guys. Okay, now it's working. There you go. You gotta down press it and hold it for a couple seconds. There you go. Headless mode is working. Fine. And it's going away from me. Coming back towards me. Alright, headless mode is working. Let's press that button again. And hold it for a couple seconds. There you go. Alright. Nice. I'm going to do the deformation again. Let's check that out again. Bring it closer. That is just awesome, man. Cool, huh? Nice. Nice, awesome, 60%. You know, at 60%, it's already speedy. Look at that. It doesn't quite have that pitch, but look at how speedy it is. I'm just wasting battery power here. <laughs> 
Nice, nice. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn the uh, power off in case we get out of control. Okay, landed it. Now let's give it a little bit of throttle and see what happens. And turn the power off. All right, the motor's shut off, so that's great. Let's turn it back on, see if we can rebind. All right. Oh, it uh, did a little bit of deformation too, as soon as the, uh, the power went back on and connected. Nice. And it reconnects itself and the lights come back on too. So we're gonna turn the lights off and fly a little bit more and then give this guy a little landing. Nice. And I'm sure it's a uh, 40%, 60%, 80%. Man, this thing is a nice flyer, man. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice, looks really nice. Now this is just a look-alike of the DJI Inspire. And from afar, man, it could be passed as one. <laughs> like, oh look, he's got a DJI Inspire. But look at his remote control. It's not a DJI remote control. No, it's not, man. But it sure looks like one, doesn't it? That is cool. That is cool. This thing's got nice speed, man. Nice speed. Look at that. Woo! Awesome quadcopter, man. Wow. Wow. 100%. One more time. Hopefully I don't run out of battery in mid-flight. I do want to land it nice and easily. Yeah, I think it's starting to get a little bit sluggish here. Yeah, I'm going to go back down to 40%. Save some battery power. And fly it real mildly here. Nice. It's so smooth. Wow, look at that. Nice. I like, I like. Awesome quad cup, man. Nice. All right. The lights are not blinking yet. So we still got flying time. That's a pretty long flight time. Nice. It is sad that I have no uh, connection with the 5.8. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a landing now. It feels a little bit on the sluggish side. So we'll bring it onto the uh, platform here and see if I can land it on the platform. There's no breeze today. You know what? The platform is too small. I'm going to give it a landing with the deformation not that way. but a little bit more lower. There you go. Landing with the deformation all the way to the bottom. Cool, nice. All right, we got it all powered up now and I got the 5.8 gigahertz monitor on and it is Horizon right there, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. It's a pretty gloomy day, so it is perfect. There's no sun glare. So let's go for a little FPV flight with the Q333A. All right, let's go. The screen right there, hopefully you can see some of that. And it is very hard to see. All right. Turning around, coming towards me. All right, going towards the 100 meter bush. I think I am very high up in the air. Okay, there's the car. All right.
Okay, let me bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna start recording. All right, let's go. Okay, turn around, and there I am. Coming towards me. All right, just passed by me. Turn around. You know, this uh, 4.3 inch monitor is very hard to see. There I am. I'm flying right over me again. There we go. Right over me. Nice. Turn around. One more time. Fly by. Whoa, there you go. Should be right there. Nice. All right. The FPV works pretty good. There we go. Flying over me one more time. All right. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, land this baby now. Should be right there. All right, bring it in for a landing. Nice. Cool. Okay, turn off the recording. Nice. 